Joining us now is the Panera Bread Group founder and former CEO, Ron Shake. Ron is an early Kava investor and currently the board chair. Ron, it's good to see you again. Welcome back. Sarah, it's been a while. How are you? I'm good. And I am interested in talking to you as an investor now and, and not necessarily as a CEO, which we did for so many years in, in Panera. First of all, on the Kava investment, how, how early did you get in here and, and how big do you think it can get relative to, say, a Panera or Kate mentioned a Chipotle or Sweetgreen? I made a very small investment when Kava had two stores. I met Brett. Um, but but I, I was very involved in the acquisition of Zoe's and made a significant investment uh, at that point and actually joined the board and became chairman. What about total and, addressable market? Because this is a very richly valued stock. I mean, even looking price to sales relative to Chipotle, it's like nine versus five. Sarah, this company has the potential to be an industry dominant vehicle. It has got that kind of strength. Look, the category is powerful. I believed in this category for over a decade. Mediterranean is where there are bold and strong flavors. Mediterranean is a bit of something new, and it excites people. Kava has been built and is the dominant brand in Mediterranean. If you believe in Mediterranean, if you believe in Kava, this will become one of the industry dominant brands. So you're you're working on Act Three. What what? What exactly is that? Is it private equity, venture capital, something else? No. Well, it's real simple. I had been doing a lot of speaking on the, in the pervasive short-termism in our capital markets. And I was trying to speak to the need for long-term thinking. Ultimately, I said, let me take my money and put it where my mouth is. And we took uh, $200, $250 million. Uh, we invested it. Uh, we, we invest generally in, 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 in three ways. One, we invest with what we call founder-friendly capital. That is to say that no prefs, we take on all follow-on rounds of capital uh, at pre-agreed to multiple. Second, Sherpa management. When we're in the boardroom, I and my partners, we're not there for the liquidation event, for the net for the liquidity event. We're there simply to help support and guide great CEOs like Brett Schulman, uh, give them whatever support we can in how you get there. And then third, our third principle is we only invest where we know something, where we have competitive advantage. It's basically the thesis of everything, where we know better. And when it comes to the restaurant industry, when it comes to entertainment, we have a very good sense of where the market is going and what concepts have the potential to be industry dominant. Um, so simply put, yeah. we're principal investors. We're not an investment fund. This is our money. We're putting our money at work to help build the next generation of great companies. Billion assets under management. I mean, no doubt Kava was a home run, Ron. Who's the next Kava? Well, we got three or four other great companies. I mean, you may know it. Uh, you know, Tate, it's in New York. and Excuse me, it's in Boston and D.C. on its way to New York. Um, uh, it's, it's got authority in coffee, authority in bread and baked goods, authority in, 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 in food. It's got chefs in every unit. It's doing very, very high volumes. Uh, extraordinary customer response, uh, a wonderful founder in Zareed Orr. We love that brand, and we're involved in it. We've got another thing called Life Alive. Life Alive is positive eating. It's vegetables. Again, very high volumes, um, very strong. We're taking it from Boston down to D.C., another very strong concept. And then, interestingly, we have something called Level 99, which is an immersive entertainment. Powerful. Uh, it's maybe the most powerful business I've ever been involved in. We'll see where it goes. Watch it. It could be uh, one of the strongest things we've ever been involved in.